What's up guys, it is the day after the cheat day Just to show you, it is Thursday 22nd June And I just woke up, it, it is 11.30 and I don't feel that good Oh my god, so you saw that video last night Obviously I will feel sick after f eating 15,000 calories It was just a casual cheat day Of course, eating 15,000 calories isn't casual So, I'm just starting my day on a broken toilet I'm like sweaty as hell, I feel sick And I will be here a lot So let's just start the day are you ready to see my shape? This is the day after 15,000 calories. Yesterday morning I was 78.2 and this is my shape the day after. Damn, I'm, I'm like really full, really full. You can see my belly. It is bloated. The abs, abs are there underneath. Can't even do the vacuum now. So full. So let's see the weight, shall we? Here's my weight. Oh my god. <laughs> 85 kilograms so I gained seven kilograms in one day <laughs> oh my god that's gonna be the intro so freaking bloated right now and I'm gonna show you exactly how not to freak about gain weight after a pinch or a cheat day so starting your day off with a bottle of water Try and chug at least one liter right when you wake up after a massive cheat day. I'm gonna do one and a half liters because I can. Chug as much as you can. So, here we go. There we go, one whole bottle is down. So, you had a massive cheat day yesterday with a lot of carbs. That means your body holds a lot of water. So, today the goal is to drink a lot, a lot of water. So, your body will flush out all the excess water. Again, don't get me wrong, it doesn't mean that you need to chug one and a half liters, but at least chug as much as you can in the morning. <laughs> Implementing intermittent fasting the next day. Of course, you're not gonna be hungry in the morning. You had a lot of food yesterday, the night before, so that means you're not gonna eat majority of the next day, and that is a good thing because you need to lower your calories the days after the cheat. I also lowered my calories the days before. Let's say you had 8,000 calories on your cheat day, and this is not for my case, I had 15,000 which is way too much, but let's say you had 8,000 calories for the whole cheat day, and your total daily calorie intake is around 2,500, that means you are 5,500 calories over your daily calorie intake, which is too much, and that means you're gonna gain weight, but you can balance it out. And how can I save myself, Darko? So what you do is you look at the weekly total balance. You want to have an average of 2,500 calories. That means you're gonna lower your normal calories with a lot, with just a simple math lesson. So you take 500 calories here, 1,000 calories there, until you hit 5,500 calories. It might not sound that simple, but I'm gonna try and explain it. So you have 8,000 calories on Wednesday, for example, on Wednesday, and if you've done it correctly, you lowered your calories the days before. You normally take in 2,500 calories. So if you dropped your calories with, let's say, 1,000 to 1,500 calories, that means you're in a 2,000 calorie deficit already. You saved up 2,000 calories the days before. That means 3,500 calories still over your normal daily intake. And what you're gonna do, really simple guys, math, is just divide them after your cheat day, however you want it. Let's say the day after, you got to lower your calories with 1,000 to 1,500 calories. So you have still like 2,500 calories too much. And the day after that, tomorrow, you're going to lower it again with 1,000. And the day after that, again with 1,000. And the last day, again with 500. And like that, you have an average total of 2,500 calories. So you got to look at the weekly average total. I try to be a math teacher, righty. I try and learn you guys all. But it is really simple. Just lower your calories the days before and the days after yes you could do extra cardio but that only means you can eat more and it you don't really need to do cardio now I'm just gonna enjoy my morning and I'm not gonna eat until like five o'clock so this is my second bottle of the day and I'm gonna fill this up right 
Now, so this will be my third bottle of the day. I'm gonna drink a lot of water, peeing the whole day, peeing all the excess water weight out so it is now 250 I'm still not eating almost 3 o'clock now I am editing the cheat day right now and I will be home the whole day editing this video you saw the cheat day a lot of edits a lot of angles a lot of footage guys oh my god this will take me at least two three whole days to edit to halfway through my third bottle of water and at this point most people would eat it is almost four o'clock and I would recommend eating something just something light nothing crazy keep it low carbs but I'm not hungry, I have no appetite, yes I could eat, but I'm not gonna eat, I'm gonna drink my bottle, finish my editing, I'm still editing the video, it will be, it will take me the whole day. Oh, 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 oh damn, I am peeing, this is like the sixth time I'm peeing right now, yeah, just a little bit more, just a little bit more, yeah, now, now it's done, now I'm gonna stop, so I did pee, and I'm peeing a lot. That's how you lose the water weight. Okay, okay, it's not seven kilograms of water weight, but mostly of my weight gain is water, and most people would stress, keeping it real and honest, I did gain some fat from that. It is not all water, but mostly is water, and I did gain some fat. Relax, guys. Good vibes, as always. Here we go, another bottle of water. I'm gonna have two scoops of BCA. Just to change it up, that is one scoop, scoop number two. So if this video doesn't show that water is important, I don't know what is. I'm not saying you need to drink as much as I do, but drinking water after a cheat day is really important. I'm using BCA just to change up the flavor, because water can get boring. It is now 6.30 and I've not eaten anything and I don't recommend not eating the whole day You need to eat and I do recommend doing some extra cardio eat your normal calories stay in a, in a small deficit But eat you gotta eat guys you gotta have some food in me And I'm gonna try and have all my micros right here the fiber protein and see what I can create I'm Gotta keep it simple, but I will have at least my chicken broccoli. That's for sure. So here we go, 7.05 at night, this will be my first and uh, probably my last meal, I'm not, I'm still not hungry guys. So I have 440 grams of broccoli with 100 grams of cottage cheese, I have 300 grams of cooked chicken with 50 grams of low fat cheese, some mayonnaise and ketchup, I have here 20 grams of protein with 30 grams of cacao, and for my fiber intake I will have this zero sugar added gingerbread which is like 10 grams of fiber I have one protein bar with 12 grams of peanut butter really high in fiber I want to hit my fiber so my body can digest the food from last night or from la yesterday so I will also have two fish oil and maybe have two multivitamin because I don't have my fruit of the day it is a really big and volume meal here are the calories and macros for this entire meal it's around like 13 or 1400 calories a lot but it is still lower than what I want to hit. Normally I hit like 1800 calories or 2000. So I'm going to lower my calories today. And this will be my last meal of the day. Just look at the chicken. I will still enjoy this even after binging a lot yesterday or cheating a lot. I'm going to still enjoy food. Mm. And just like that you got a soft gingerbread with a hard cookie on top. And I've never tried it so... Oh my god, you can see the peanut butter, the chocolate. Oh yeah. Change of plans guys, so I put on my workout clothes and I told you that I'm not gonna do cardio, but I've been sitting editing the whole day in my room and I'm gonna do like 30 minutes of low intensity cardio. So I'm putting my bike right here beside the house. Because I have Wi-Fi, I can watch some YouTube videos right here. Start the timer right there. I'm not gonna film 30 minutes, but I'm gonna speed something up, so. Gotta watch some YouTube on the phone. <clears throat> so yeah, like that, seven minutes. I'm gonna do like 30, 40 minutes light session of cardio. Yeah. Woo! Like that. I've done 33 minutes, you can see the sweat, my shirt is soaking, now I'm gonna take a quick shower. 
so I took a quick shower. 9.15, I'm gonna end it right here. I was feeling much, much better, so check in with you tomorrow. Day two, 9.15 in the morning. The bloatiness is going away slowly. The abs are showing more. I can feel the water is there. Like, it is not as soft as normally. And I must be honest, I don't feel the best. Still feel somewhat full, even after two days. But here's my weight of this morning. Let's see the weight two days after the cheat. It's nothing crazy, but I am losing weight 85 yesterday and today 84.1 the bloatiness is going away But still when I pinch my fat right here, I can feel that there is a lot of water So yeah now I am in the kitchen and again nothing will change I will have my water a bit more than half a bottle and this time I'm gonna add some apple cider vinegar to the water, not too crazy, not too much, just a little bit like that and drinking a lot of water, that's my pro tip to you so here we go so like that, one liter is gone oh yeah starting my morning always this way I'm not changing anything and again I'm not saying that all the weight that you gain is water but it is not all fat. Let's say 80% is water and 20% is fat. Yes, you will gain some fat, but you can't gain 5 kilograms or even in my case 7 kilograms of fat. That is impossible. No human being can do that. I'm showing you my progress, showing you my days after and as you can see, I'm not stressing about it. I gained 7 kilograms, guys. That is a lot. If you cheat or binge, don't stress about it. Just get back on track. Uh. Oh, 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 I, I can't stop it. <laughs> so yeah, still like peeing the whole day long. It's already the fourth time. So I'm almost done with my coffee. I'm still sipping on my coffee. It is now 11.15. I will have to work today at around 3 o'clock. So I need to prepare my meal. And I'm gonna have my breakfast in 3, 2, 1. So I like that. First meal is done. A simple meal. Egg whites with some ketchup, mayonnaise, low fat cheese, some turkey, deli meat which I just baked or fried. I have here 400 grams of courgette with some chili peppers, again ketchup and mayonnaise. And I have 40 grams of oats with some cinnamon and 12 grams of peanut butter. Just some hot oatmeal and hopefully I can take a dump again. So here are the calories and macros for this. Really simple. I'm not gonna crave, I'm not craving anything. Keeping your calories really low. Guys, tell me if you take a dump after hot oatmeal. With the peanut butter, I'm gonna just swirl it all over. Hot oatmeal. I'm gonna visit my friend. Mm. <gasps> It is now 1.30 and I have to go to work at like 2.30, 2.45 and I already made my meal for at work. Some broccoli and two chicken breasts. Some low fat cheese and some ketchup with this. So at around like 5 o'clock I will have this meal. So what I'm gonna do, I have my bike right here inside and I will watch some YouTube. I'm gonna do 30 minutes like yesterday, really low intensity cardio. Just like that, half an hour of cardio, light intensity cardio session. Not gonna go crazy. Burning calories, calories in, calories out. And just like that, half an hour of cardio. And I'm sweaty as hell. I got my bag with my meals. Here are the calories for that small meal. And as you can see, not a lot of calories. And yeah, off to work, checking with you at night. And just like that, in one second, it is already 8 o'clock on the finish this day, the second day after my cheat with a small snack. The snack that I have always, every single night. I've got my protein cookie, I've got my quark with some vanilla and some sweetener, and I've got my cacao sludge. Just gonna take the sludge, spread it on the cookie and eat it as always. Keeping it simple, eating the same stuff every single day. So here are the macros for this meal and here are the total macros of the day. Keeping my calories lower the days after the cheat and I will check in with you tomorrow, show you my weight. I will weigh in lower, I think about like 82-ish, 82 and a half, something around that. So I will check in with you in 3, 2, 1. There we go again, let's start day 3, 9.30 in the morning. After 3 days of be eating 15,000 calories. So you get the point, I'm losing that weight really fast and less bloated right now. As you can see, it is Saturday now, 9.45, so let's see the weight. Well, let's see what the weight does this morning, three days after. And I told you I would be at around like 82. Here we go. 
82.2 so I estimated to be around 82 and a half 82 wish and 82.2 this morning three days after the cheat and I'm slowly getting back you can see guys slowly losing that belly fat here we go again I chucked half a bottle of the water downstairs I've got a new bottle I've got, and I've got my coffee starting today three days after the cheat I'm gonna start count, counting macros again and I'm getting back to the gym again I have 55 fat 150 carbs and 200 protein and I will do my training so I feel normal again I'm not bloated my appetite is again there I could show you every single day what I do but it's the same thing and the most important thing right here is to not stress about weight gain drinking my coffee right now I will check in with you later on so it is now 515 I did go to the gym fasted so I want to show you my first meal of the day here we go I got 750 grams of cauliflower my cauliflower rice and I have here 200 grams of grilled chicken and one burger bun I have 150 grams of carbs today and this will be my first meal I have some cottage cheese low-fat cheese mayonnaise and mustard with this just to show you I've got my chicken with the low-fat cheese mayonnaise and mustard gotta show you a bite look at this let's try this out a simple chicken breast on a bun mm, mm. KFC has nothing on me oh my god here's meal number two here we go meal number two and this will be the last meal the same snack that I have every single night this time I'm adding some blueberries and some oatmeal 40 grams of oatmeal 100 grams of blueberries my quark sludge and my protein cacao sludge they are getting prettier and prettier by the day I'm not gonna leave you hanging right here mm -mm. best snack right here Three days after the cheat. Oh yeah. It is Sunday, June 25th. So I'm gonna end the video right here by showing you my physique and my weight. So this is the fourth day after the cheat. My appetite is also getting back, so I'm feeling really good now. Oblique shop. And I don't know what my weight is, so let's see that. I was 85 on the cheat, so let's see what it is today. I'm dropping weight daily, guys. 81 kilograms exactly today so there you go guys 81 kilograms four days after the cheats getting back on track right now everything is normal right now i hope you learned something and i hope you you don't stress out after benching if you want to recover from a cheat day you could speed it up by doing a lot of cardio you could do it but it is not necessary but you should lower your calories the days after and the days before. If you know that you have a cheat day really soon, lower your calories the days before. So guys, I hope you learned something. I know a lot of talking, but this was more a informative video. If you can, leave a like. Please leave a like. And if you want to, subscribe on my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram at Darko Bunich. So guys, as always, I hope you have a great day, great night. Whatever it is in life, do what you want. Do it now. I dare you. Live life. Peace.